What's up you guys, uh, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing navigation onto my brand new high 10 radio. If you guys do remember, I just made an installation video on how to do that. So check that out, it's in the description box below. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to run Netflix, YouTube, and stuff like that on it. It's gonna be with this little box here. Let's get into the video and show you guys. So like I was saying in the beginning of the video, we're gonna be adding navigation. I'm also gonna be adding another feature. It's a box that I used to have in my previous factory radio, which allows me to watch Netflix, YouTube, and just kind of surf the web, stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to see if it'll work with this one. So if it does, I'll also link that in the description box below. So the first step in this is removing your radio. So if you guys do remember on my installation radio, all you literally have to do is go like this, pops right out. Just be very careful to not pull the wires in the back. It's gonna have two plugs here. You just disconnect those and then we'll go from there. So now that you removed the radio, these were the two plugs you took out from behind the radio. So you're gonna notice you have this piece here. So if you look at it, it's gonna say for navigation only. So that's where you're gonna insert your navigation chip. Let's crack this open. I'll make sure to link this in the description box below. You have a big chip and then you have a small chip. Uh, the big one you're not gonna be inserting. This one's used for updates. So you're gonna have to, that's for the computer later down the road when you need to update your maps. We're gonna be grabbing this little one. So when you open up the package, you're gonna have this piece here and you're also gonna have this piece of paper. So in this piece of paper, it's gonna give you the website to go ahead and update your maps if needed. And inside the package, you're gonna get a little one, a little chip like this and then a bigger chip. The small chip here, what you wanna do is you're gonna notice one side has that. Go ahead and insert it there. This here, you're only gonna be using this to update your actual map card. One thing I would recommend you guys before actually inserting it into the radio is grab this chip here put the nav card into this go run inside go to your computer your laptop or whatever it is and on this piece of paper that it comes with it's going to come with a website to update your maps before inserting it i'd highly suggest checking if there's any updates so that way you don't have to take it out right away but make sure to save this because down the road if you do need an update that's how you're going to do it so make sure to save that piece of paper as well so you know what website to go to now that that's done technically you're ready to go you reinstall and you have your nav now that that's in make sure to plug in the wires that go to the radio go ahead and tuck those wires in nice and clean gently and go ahead and put your high 10 back in its position make sure it all clips in you don't want this thing falling out on you. But right now we'll go ahead and show you guys how the navigation looks, how it works, and kind of how to set it up. Before we do that though, I want to add the Netflix, I want to add the YouTube. So we're going to be adding this black box. If you want to know more in depth about this black box here that I have, check out the description box below. I'll link a direct video. I've already made a review on it and how it works, how to install and all that stuff. So let's pop this bad boy in. So if you notice right here, you open that up, grab the USB, pop it in there. We'll leave this box there for now just to show you guys. Let's turn the truck on and show you guys the features. Now that we got the truck started, we're gonna go ahead and go to the navigation. We'll start with that. So if you see here, navigation, if you did not insert the chip or buy the chip, just keep in mind when you click it, it's not gonna do anything. But now with the chip installed, you hit navigation, it's gonna take you to this screen, which now you gotta set it up. So we're in English US, go ahead and hit select. It's gonna load. It's one thing about the stringer. I do love it, but it does take some time to load things up. So this is pretty cool. So the cool thing about this is you can actually change the voices of your navigation. It is touch screen, so you can kind of move it with your hands. I'm blocking this right here because it's gonna give you the correct address where you're exactly at. And yeah, I don't wanna leak that. Uh, but there it is. It gives you a gas stations. It gives you a whole bunch of features here. You guys can mess with it. I'll let you guys do that. There's a lot of features on this thing to go over. Now let's go ahead and go back to home so now that we showed you guys the navigation kind of how to set it up and how it works now we're going to go back up and we're going to show you guys the black box so that's going to be in apple carplay go ahead and click there 
and make sure you have your internet set up once you do you can then go to the main menu of the black box and it has a bunch of features like i said and you can add apps to this as well which uh, we have netflix there we got youtube over here you can surf the web you can go on youtube just like that make sure to subscribe and then go ahead and uh, go home it has a bunch of different features that you can add you can also add apps it has netflix so if you want to watch netflix you can also do that so if you guys did enjoy today's a quick little video please make sure to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one peace Feel free to subscribe.